Hi, it's Luke from Stratic, and thank you for joining us for the webinar today. Stratic is a next generation hosting company that converts WordPress websites to static headless architecture with just one click. Stratic offers the highest level of security by disconnecting your live website from WordPress, thus eliminating vulnerabilities such as SQL injections and cross-site scripting. Also with Stratic, performance is no longer an issue. Statically generated WordPress websites scale easily for traffic and are up to 50 times faster under load. Today, I'll be showing you how to use Stratic to manage your WordPress website. I'll give you an overview of the Stratic environments and how to convert your WordPress website to static with just one click. I'll also give you some pointers about how to update your website quickly and talk about how we handle dynamic functionality and explain how we keep your WordPress site secure. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is head over to stratic.com and log in. Once we've logged in, you will see a list of the WordPress websites that you're hosting with Stratic. And if we click details, we'll see further information such as your connection info, your publish history, your domain name settings for when you're connecting your custom domain and WordPress backups. We take daily backups and you can also uh, trigger a backup at any time. So let's open up a WordPress and we do so by doing edit in WordPress here. That's going to spin up a containerized environment that hosts your WordPress website and it'll log in to your dashboard just as it would on any other hosting environment. Once you're on the dashboard, you'll notice that there's a static button at the top. When we hover over the Stratic button, it will show you your publishing options. I'll go through what each one are, but let's first start off with a full publish to preview. You'll see at the top of the screen, we've got an indicator showing the progress of the publish. Once done, it'll give you an option to preview your published site. Now we are looking at the static replica of our WordPress website. It is on the preview environment. We use the preview environment to make sure your website's still functioning correctly and looks as it should. So if I scroll down, I can see all my images and text still look correct. If I click on an item, it's functioning as I expect it to. My form's looking correct. And if I click through to other pages, they all look to be functioning as well. So now that I'm happy with how everything's looking on my static copy of my site, let me show you how to add some content. If we go back to the dashboard, one of the main things that most people do on their website is add new blog articles. So I'm going to put my title in here, I'm going to add my content and I'm going to add in a featured image. I'm going to publish it to WordPress just as I normally would. So if I go onto the page now, I can see my post and it's looking just as it would. I'm happy that it looks fine on WordPress. So I'm going to publish this to the static version of my site. This time, instead of doing a full publish to preview, I'm going to do a quick publish to preview. Using Quick Publish speeds up the process. So rather than publishing everything from start to finish again, it's publishing only those changes. So this could be edited pages, edited posts, your tags, your taxonomies, and the sitemap, as well as the RSS feed. So that's, that's finished now. So I can preview this change that I've made. So I'm going to head over to my blog. You can see my new post here. What is Jamstack? And if I click into that, you can see the article. Now I've just noticed I've got a spelling mistake here. So to quickly update that, I could go back into my post, edit the post, and I'm going to Put a space in there and while I'm at it, I might uh, make this 
bold. So more secure, faster, and easy to scale. Once you've uh, already made a publish to a page or a post, you do get one further option, which is publish this page. And this is what we call selective publish. This option is perfect for typos and edits to content. This won't update your blog archive or, or sitemap and things like that. So perfect for making those final touches. If I go back to my preview site, head back over to my blog, you'll see now that those changes have been updated. So I've got my space and, and those words are, are now bold. So what's next? You've published your website to the preview environment. You know how to make some changes. So the next thing would be that if I was happy with this website and I wanted to show it to the world, I would then want to publish it to my live environment. So I would head back up to the static button. This time I would change it to the live environment. And I'd want to do a full publish to live. So what this is doing is it's, it's statically generating the website once more, but this time on a different environment, the live environment, which is public facing. Once it's done, it'll give me the option to visit the live site. There you have a statically generated WordPress website. So currently it's on speedly.live.stratic.io, which is a subdomain that all our customers have. You would use this until you've connected your custom domain. So once you've connected your custom domain, it would just be www.yourwebsite.com. Now, one of the great features about Stratic is it's implemented some of the dynamic functionality, which we all rely on and got it to work with a static website. So one of these things is a search. So if I head up here to search. I can still type in a query and get my results. Now this is because Stratic has implemented Algolia search out of the box. So you don't have to worry about making your search results work. Another key piece of functionality is contact forms. Out of the box, we support gravity forms and contact form seven. So you'll still be able to receive any form submissions by using these two plugins, or you could use an alternative third party service such as type form. If you head over to the Stratic website, we've got a section called the tools directory. In the tools directory, you'll find many, many services and plugins, which are static friendly. So if we head over to the form sections, you'll see all the different kinds of forms that you could implement onto your static website. Stratic also supports the vast majority of themes and plugins. Um, so you can still use those with your website. You'll notice here on my on my post, I've got Yoast SEO installed and that still functions perfectly. Many plugins work fine and I recommend as you install them to test them on your preview environment first. If a plugin does require communication with a database, that's when you would tend to look for a third party service. Again, our tools directory is full of options. Now that our website's been published to live, um, what happens to your WordPress container? So once you finish ed editing the site, the container will spin down after 40 minutes of inactivity. This helps keep your WordPress site secure. It's one of our added security features, as well as doing our bit for the environment. And there we go. That's how easy it is to convert your website to static using Stratic. <laughs> Once your WordPress website is static, it becomes instantly faster, more secure and scalable and is now pre-rendered with no underlying processes on the server. The whole site is now served from a CDN from the user's closest edge location, which will give them a great user experience. And the best thing is you still get to keep that WordPress experience that we all know and love. So let's answer some questions. Does Stratic replace my existing hosting provider? And so. During the testing process and the free trial, you would still have your existing website hosted elsewhere. Um, so you can play around with Stratic and make sure everything's working fine. Once you're happy that your users are going to have a good experience, then you can transfer your hosting to Stratic by updating the, the DNS records. 
attached to the domain name. Okay, and the next question is, uh, do we support WooCommerce? The answer is we do support it if you're using it just as a catalog. Um, so if you haven't got the need for the checkout or to take payments, then we do support it. If you do need an e-commerce functionality, um, then you would need to use a third-party tool. Um, so we support Snipcart, Equid, and you can also embed a Shopify payment gateway. Next question, do you need a caching plugin? We say you don't need one um, because once the site's statically generated, all those files are going to end up on the CDN and it's going to be super fast. So basically the static version of your website is like having a super cache. And that's about all the time I've got for questions today. I'm happy to respond to the, uh, the rest of you via email. If you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out via stratic.com and using the chat widget. I encourage you all to trial um, Stratic and um, you can sign up without a credit card and migrating uh, the website to Stratic is very simple. You can get up and running in no time. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me today to learn about Stratic and how easy it is to convert your website to Stratic using our, our services. I'll see you next time.